When Ibuka asked me, the, the way he threw the question at me, I thought he was asking, he heard my answer. I said, I pulled up for a conversation. I genuinely thought that was the moment he was asking me about and so I addressed it that way. And um, yeah, let's just leave it there. Hello, Z. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, how are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Welcome to the Outside by Pulse. How are you feeling today? I feel like I'm outside. And how does that feel? Uh, it feels good. Enjoying the love um, and just adjusting back into the groove of things. <clears throat> so how has the reception been from fans since you left the house? Um, all the fans I've interacted with, the, the reception has been amazing. And you can see I have a new sign, this diamond sign, because they keep calling me the diamond of the show. So, you know, it's allowed me to feel myself a little bit, but um, I'm enjoying it though. You and your brother didn't like hearing the comments about the housemates being boring this season. Why is that so? Um, <clears throat> because boring is subjective. Who is to say uh, the fact that <clears throat> chaos and drama is equal to entertaining and class and tact and composure is boring. Um, they say well with me because you can still entertain people and maintain that composure. After all, the, um, in fact, the house needs to have had a balance of different types of people because Nigeria is a balanced country with all different types of people. Yeah. What do you think about Kelly Ray's win and their strategy as double K? I'm happy for him that he won. Anybody that watches the show will know that um, he was one of me and my brother's favorites um, from the beginning. I knew he kept himself to himself initially, but I always used to say, Watch out, when this guy decides to open up, you see a very interesting human being. And I was right. I also predicted he was married, possibly with kids. Uh, I was right, so my discernment is intact. Um, as for their strategy, it, it was what worked for them, so well done to them, you know. Um, I didn't go in there with a the strategy because I just wanted to be myself, but if their situation and being married and not wanting that to compromise certain things in the house. Um, so that was a good strategy for them. It allowed people to separate them and look at them as individuals. You said it was one of your favorite persons in the house. Mm -hmm. Why was this so? Like I said, from the get go, I knew there was something different. You know, I, I say people have sprinter personalities or marathon personalities. There's people that you just get to see who they are immediately. And there's some people that it takes time. Now, funny enough, I think he's actually a sprinter, but I believe maybe certain issues in the beginning just caused him to slow down. But I just found him interesting. Something told me there was more to him. And the first time me and me, him and my brother started bantering and cracking jokes about where we were from and we were giving each other as good as we got, immediately I knew, okay, this guy, we're gonna be super cool. The Mbadiwe twin supporters picked you over OC, resulting in his eviction. What do you think about that decision? And why do you think that was made? Um, the supporters, first of all, faced a tough decision, um, picking me or picking my brother. I think maybe they just felt with all the different things, because as I've come out and seen so many different things and angles about myself that I didn't even realize in the house, I think maybe they just felt that would propel me further in terms of the rest of the competition. And so they probably just decided, okay, Let's pick Ozzy. How did you feel when Ozzy got evicted? Uh, heartbroken, of course, because we started the journey together. It didn't matter if they separated us. That was just in the Big Brother house. But as human beings, the bond was there. And many times, people might not know, because I tried to stay composed, but there were many times, according to my North Star, I used to look to him for direction on calm or poise. So when he was gone, in my mind, I was like, Ugh. But one more week left, so it was easier. If it was, if it was a few weeks before, who knows, maybe I might have even requested a voluntary... No, I'm joking. <laughs> but it would have been difficult. Then you wouldn't have made it to the top eight. If? If you had requested a voluntary exit. And no, that, that was never an option. That was a joke. But um, having him there definitely allowed my stay in the house to be a lot more exciting. Some fans and housemates assumed that the Umbadi twins were arrogant and mm -hmm. thought highly of themselves. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about that? Was this before, during or after? During the show. During the show. Um, 
I don't know what they were watching because I feel like they came in there and showed a lot of humility, um, leadership by humility, never complained. Debo was asked, um, even, even as we saw ourselves getting the short end of the stick, still maintain that composure. So uh, there, there's always going to be people that might not see how things how you see, you know. I always like to say the camera shows, but it doesn't see. So maybe they didn't pick that up, but um, I think for most people, we represented ourselves um, appropriately. All right, let's talk about your friendship with Oyeka, which was one of your major highlights of the season. How would you describe Oyeka? Um, first of all, I think my most major highlights of the season are me and things that came out for me. You know, so I, I, I like to focus on that more. But... Um, Oyeka, she was a, she is a friend, you know, and um, you need them. Many times, actually, I refer to the checkers as sisters because I, I had that type of energy with them. So, yeah, she was a friend. She had my back. I had her back. Talking about sisters, there were conversations around both of you sharing a kiss in which some fans also felt, oh, you denied it, you denied it and it wasn't true. So what do you have to say about this? Um, um, what, what did I, you mean on stage? Yes, on stage, even when Ibuka asked you in the When house, Ibuka asked it's... me, the, the way he threw the question at me, I thought he was asking, he heard my answer, I said I pulled up for a conversation. I genuinely thought that was the moment he was asking me about us, so I addressed it that way. And um, yeah, let's just leave it there. So are you, are you agreeing to it or you're denying it now? <laughs> I'm just addressing how I responded when he asked me. Your major disagreements when, with her started when Ebuka spoke about the triangle situation with Victoria. My, my major? Disagreement with Onyeka mm -hmm. started when Ebuka spoke about the triangle situation with Victoria. How did you get into that situation? Into the disagreement? Into the whole triangle. How did the triangle come about? I do, up until Ebuka mentioned the triangle, I wasn't even aware of the triangle. So. For me to sit here and tell you how that triangle came about, zero idea. Um, maybe people people might just have been, the microphone is loud. So if people are having discussions and saying how they, how they feel or what they think about me and my friendships with either of them, naturally that might just cause people to group us together and form a triangle. So when Ibuka said that, it took me by surprise. During a conversation with Oyeka, you talked about her inserting herself into your relationship with Victoria. Here's the triangle. Why did you come to that conclusion? Like I said, um, I feel like people having conversations and mentioning names, so that just kind of created a thing. And um, that was what I was thinking because it took me by surprise. But just naturally, um, in the house, anybody you gravitate towards, if they're single and you're single, or if you're not in a ship in the house, anybody you gravitate towards, people will see it that way. So I came to, I came to just accept it. Some fans believed you kept the triangle going instead of creating boundaries as part of your strategy. Is that true? I know it's a game in, in the Big Brother house, um, but I don't think I sat and thought that deeply about separating them for a game. There are two individuals who I knew separately and I just kept it that way. How would you describe your relationship with Victoria? Victoria, a friend as well. You know, another person in the house that had my back, I had theirs. If you didn't have a relationship outside, which female housemate would you have pursued one with? If I didn't have a relationship outside, I still wouldn't have pursued anything in that direction. When I came into the, I didn't come into the house looking for that. <laughs> for me, I came into the house like, okay, this is a big test for me to better myself. And that's going to be my priority. The return of the evicted housemates caused some friction in the house. Do you think you and your brother could have handled the altercation differently? If I look back, I start nitpicking at things. I will probably start regretting things here and there. 
But in real time, I did what I felt was best for my housemates. That whatever we did was to shield the rest of our housemates and we just felt like if anybody was to be able to create a barrier and swallow up all the different things that was, that was going on and, you know, keep everybody sane, it would be me and my brother. So that kind of just happened. It was more of a typical big brother role, trying to protect everybody. Why did you feel the need to do that? Because it's just how I was from day one. Um, as the as the as part of the old citizen, the senior citizens in the house, um, and the first HOH, I just always had that thing in me, like, okay, these are my people, you know, I'm forming genuine friendships here. So um, part of that means that if they need my protection or if I see something like that, then I would try. What do you think about how the DRC conducted themselves when they came back to the house? To each their own. I mean, everybody, all of us that were involved in this show and were on this platform had their own agendas and had outcomes they were looking for and conducted themselves accordingly. So that's how I feel, to each their own. Let's talk about your relationship outside. How's that going? It's fine, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now let's have some fun. I'm sure you've been waiting for this moment. I so came here for the fun. <laughs> <laughs> some questions are in the basket. The goal is to answer as many as possible in 30 seconds. Just 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Are you okay. ready? Yes, I'm competitive, so hopefully I answer the most. All right, let's go in three, two, one. Mm. Which animal can hold his breath the longest? Oh, pass. Um, according to Guinness World Records, what's the best-selling best-selling book of all time? Is that the Bible? Who won Big Brother? And I, I don't know. Which planet in our solar system has been? Don't even know. Um, how many continents are there on Earth? Eight. Who was Nigeria's first president? Nambi Azikiwe. Which Nigerian song, songwriter released a hit single for David O? Time's up. <laughs> uh, you guys just put some of the trickiest questions on top. I should have. I, I see easy questions here. Now, can we do it again? No. <laughs> <laughs> I see you had fun. I had fun. I had fun. Great. All right, now let's go to the fan zone. Let's see what fans would like to know. So we have Official K on Instagram. He asked, do you actually have a madam on the outside and have you apologized to her? Yes, I do. And, um, you know, private things I kept private. Let's just keep it that way. <clears throat> Sam underscore K Galadi on Instagram says, no question, just like his personality. These are the people. So, hey, I'm I think we're going to say that. I'm with you. I'm with you. <laughs> real recognize real. Mm -hmm. He sounds familiar. <laughs> Which of the friendships formed in the house will you retain and which will you discontinue? Um, that's a, if I formed the friendship in the house, it was genuine, honestly, genuine. Um, not to be long-winded, but I don't know if you guys ever had conversations, but my favorite things during the parties were looking at the housemates and thinking about how I would hang out with them um, on the outside and how that would look. And when I was letting them know, those are my favorite times. So all the ones that I formed that were real, I'm still going to maintain them. I want to collaborate with, with all of them anyway, exchange value. Who do you consider the most annoying housemate and who do you think is the most strategic? <sighs> most annoying housemate? Uh, this season, I don't really think I had a, a housemate that was annoying to me, um, to be honest with you. I don't really think, maybe because of the way I conducted myself, nobody really brought annoyance to me. And the most strategic, I'm going to have to say Kelly Ray and Cassia because their strategy won them the game. All right, message to your fans. Yeah, to my fans, um, first of all, to thank you guys for rooting for me. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm sure it wasn't hard. Sorry, I'm sure it wasn't easy, but you stuck with me. I just wanted to let you guys know. Um, I hope you're proud of me. I'm proud of you guys having my back and hopefully I'll be able to repay you. Hopefully with some of the things I have coming forward and the things I want to do, you'll be proud of me and um, it will be worth it that you rooted for me and continue to root for me. And um, let's keep showing them that nobody weighs the way. 
and that the diamond of the show is going to shine bright. Thank you. It's nice having you on. Thank you very much. Bye. Nice to be here. <laughs>